Welcome to my backyard gardening and beekeeping channel. After collecting the last grain of pollen from a chrysanthemum bush, honeybees are ready for winter in the northern United States. I help bees over winter in two ways. First, feed bees with 2 to 1 sugar water starting in early October. 2 to 1 sugar water is a mixture of two parts of sugar and one part of water. For example, 10 pounds of sugar and 5 pounds of water will make 2 to 1 sugar water. Sugar water is fed to bees in repurposed ice cream buckets. Full feeding in my apiary is an all-you-can-eat buffet for the bees. A strong colony can take down 4 to 5 gallons of sugar water in a couple of weeks. By the time feeding is done, there is probably a total of 60 pounds of honey in each hive, which is sufficient for a colony in zone 6A. The honey storage will be the main source of food for the bees in winter. The second thing I do to help bees over winter is to give each colony a sugar board. A sugar board is essentially a board of hardened granulated sugar. Sugar board should not be the main source of energy for the colony, but rather an insurance policy. Sugar board also provides a little insulation and acts as moisture absorbent. Many types of sugar board or candy board are available commercially, but I prefer to make my own. Homemade sugar board is a lot cheaper and as good as or better than commercial boards, and it is easy to make. Here is how I make sugar board. First, the board for the sugar board. The board was made by stapling a queen excluder to a feeding shim. I cut out the center of the queen excluder to make it easier for the bees to access the sugar. Since I will use the leftover sugar in spring for full feeding the following year, newspaper or packing paper is not recommended. It will be hard to remove the newspaper stuck to the sugar in the spring. 2. A little pollen substitute for winter bees. I use one to one sugar water to make a pollen patty. Mix one cup of sugar in one cup of water. Stir to dissolve sugar. Add pollen substitute to sugar water. Add a little vegetable oil to keep pollen patty moist. If too dry, add a little more sugar water. If too wet, add a little more pollen substitute. Mix ingredients until it feels like play dough. I give each colony a soft ball size pollen patty. Pollen patty is placed on the southern side of the access hole. Bees like it on the southern side. Three, what sugar to use? The best sugar is white granulated sugar. The lowest priced sugar you can find at Costco, Walmart, or a local grocery store. 
It does not matter if it is cane sugar or beet sugar. Just don't use organic sugar, brown sugar, or powdered sugar. Four, mix sugar with water. I have tried different recipes for sugar board and found 330 ml of water per 10 pound of sugar to be the best. 330 ml water is 11 ounce. Find a large tote box or tub and work outside. You will make a mess if you make sugar board in the kitchen. The amount of sugar for each colony is not exact science. 10 pounds per colony seems to be a good amount. I have 6 colonies, so I need 60 pounds of sugar. This is 50 pounds sugar. This is 10 pounds sugar. 50 pounds sugar into the tub. An additional 10 pounds into the tub. 300 ml water for 10 pounds sugar. So 2000 ml water is needed for 60 pounds of sugar. First 1000 ml of water. Mix sugar and water. It is advisable to wear rubber gloves to protect fingers. Another 1000 ml of water. A little apple cider may be helpful but not required. I usually add 1 cup of apple cider to 60 pounds of sugar. Mix sugar and water thoroughly until it feels like wet sand. Scoop up about 10 pounds of wet sugar. Place wet sugar on board. Try to spread the sugar evenly and snugly at the corners. This piece of lumber is to prevent wet sugar from falling through. 5. Harden sugar board. Sugar boards are placed in the garage for a few days. Sugar board will absorb moisture from the air and become rock hard. Remove the lumber block. Now the sugar boards are ready. Sugar boards help honeybees over winter successfully. Colonies come out of winter strong and healthy. Thanks for visiting my YouTube channel. See you next time.